Okay, well the uh, cheap little uh, 10 amp uh, Variac is back together. Um, brand new switch, brand new breaker. And in addition to that, it's been modified. <laughs> yes, folks, for the price of one used one, uh, 0 to 140 volt Variac, I now have a 0 to 200 volt Variac. Um, if you've watched any of uh, uh, Photonic Induction's uh, videos recently, uh, you'll know exactly what I've done here. Um, in order to boost this up to 200 volts, uh, if you haven't, then uh, definitely check it out, Photonic Induction. Um, check out his YouTube channel and uh, look for an overdriven Variac and uh, you'll get what I've done. Um, I had to go a little further than that because this obviously didn't have wiring terminals in it. It had uh, wiring that was that's uh, directly soldered to the uh, the taps on this transformer. Um, but there was an untapped uh, transformer tap over here, <clears throat> way down at the beginning. So what I've done is modified this to um, also have an input onto uh, a, a hot input onto that uh, that tap way down here at the beginning of the windings. So um, that's going to give me uh, about 200 volts output uh, by my calculation. Um, now this switch up here, this, uh, nifty little safety switch. So I've got it set right now to 140, but I can. And this is this is temporary, obviously. This uh, the way this is mounted. I don't. I didn't have anything in my parts bin that uh, that was a good washer to fit this. But I'll, I'm going to go and get uh, some washers to mount this properly. So uh, yeah, if I flip this up, click that over, it uh, energizes that uh, uh, this lower winding here, and uh, will give me. An extra boost. Um, I do, however, have to uh, make absolutely sure that this is ballasted when I do that because um, it will fry itself or trip the circuit breaker. Um, probably just trip the circuit breaker, but uh, with a guy this old, I don't want to try. I don't want to take any risk. So let's try it out. Okay, so in order to ballast this modified Variac, um, I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, 12 amp heater that I picked up at a secondhand store. Um, <clears throat> this is rated at 12.5 uh, amps. Uh, camera won't really focus on that, but it's uh, AC 120 volts, 60 hertz, 12.5 amps, 1500 watts. Um, this is a really, really old Lakewood um, heater. So I'm going to set that to high, and that's going to be my ballast um, just for these first few tests. So in order to run that ballast, I have a modified power strip, uh, and I'll do a, a video on this uh, coming up here soon, uh, just to show what's going on in here. But uh, I've basically rewired this to allow one ballast and up to two loads, <coughs> um, obviously keeping the loads within the, the uh, amperage rating of the ballast. <coughs> um, so this is going to run this in series first through the ballast and second through the load or loads. Um, and once again I'll do a video on this coming up um, just to show what's uh, what's going on in there. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that the Variac is off and that the dial is set to zero. Uh, and I've got my multimeter plugged in here so we can uh, see what the voltage is that it puts out. So I'll turn this on. Turn on the Variac. 
again cranking it up. So as you can see this is currently in the factory setting. So now I'm getting about 141 volts out at 100% um, because my switch is still set to 0 to 140 running off of uh, running into this tap down here. So now I'm going to turn this back off, set this back to 0. <clears throat> now I'm going to lift this danger switch cover, click that right over. And uh, let's do this again. So I'm going to give it some juice. I'm gonna turn it on. Now you can hear the, uh, the angry hum that this thing uh, puts out. And this is why uh, it needs the ballast. You can see the heater is now running because this would be pulling way too many amps all by itself. And it would burn itself out. So as you can see, right now we've got 0 0.01 volts, and as I begin to crank this up, you can see the volts beginning to rise. And I top out at actually about 204, 206. So, yeah, I would say this is uh, probably a successful mod. Go ahead and crank that down, turn this off, kill the power, and uh, yeah, there it is.